Janos are here. If you create your DVDs in Adobe Encore, you can create a very similar web experience with very little extra effort. In this tutorial, I'll show you how. And here's the project we'll be working with. These are videos shot at the Squeeze server introduction at Streaming Media West in November of 2010. It's a, it's a simple project. There's one menu and three videos, as you can see here. Um, and that's, we're doing a simple project for demo purposes, but you can convert any project with multiple menus uh, from Encore to Flash. It doesn't have to be a simple project like this one. And let me preview it so you'll see what's going on. Here's the preview button. And again, very simple project. We've got the button highlights following the cursor around. And if I click a video, we'll see a short introduction. And then the video will start to play. Okay. If you were building a DVD, you would start in the Build tab here. You would format for a DVD, and then typically you'd either create a DVD disc or, or a DVD image. If you're producing a Flash presentation, as we are here, you'd choose Flash here, and then your output, the only option is going to be SWF. Um, you have to create it using the current project, so select that. Encore is going to be producing a bunch of files to, um, for you to upload to your website, and you need to tell Encore where to put those files, and I've got those um, e-interview interviews the uh, the folder that I use for the project itself and upload as a separate subfolder that I'm going to use to uh, to store the content that Encore creates for me to upload to the web. Name the project, no big deal there, and then choose a format. And format can either be F4V, which is an H.264 file, or FLV, which is a VP6 file. And typically these days I go exclusively with H.264, and unless you have a very strong reason to go with VP6, you should probably go H.264 as well. Moving down the interface, the next option is preset, and Adobe gives you multiple presets. These are all the SD 4x3 presets, so you've got 640x480 and standard high quality, medium quality, and low quality, and then 320x240 as well. And then coming down here, you've got some low res 16x9 presets, and then you've got some, some, uh, some bigger screen presets including 960 by 540 which was what I used for this project and full 720p again in a high quality medium quality and low quality and if you've created subtitles with your project we don't have these here if you want images for subtitles then um, then use the default with which is this not checked if you want the text itself to be exported in text format then you um, you check this option and again this project doesn't have subtitles so that's not a an issue for this particular project. Now we're going to be building a web page with the SWF file within it and Adobe gives you some canned options to, uh, to, to use as the background for that page. If you choose none, and let me preview none real quickly, and you just see a white page and that's kind of kind of stark. Or you can use, you know, this is a corporate type video so I'll, I'll choose that one. And then this will appear um, as the background for your flash presentation which will appear in this white window here so I'm that's gonna look good when we finally get done and the last option relates to uh, the files that you create and how they're gonna be distributed now I'm gonna produce here an SWF project that I'm gonna upload to my website and then distribute via progressive download but if you have access to a flash streaming server you would select this option here and then put in the script necessary to create the files and then upload the files to your server and we're just gonna do this and then I click build and then Encore will create the files. Let's take a quick look at the files that it creates. So here's the files that I created a few minutes ago. Index.html is the file that you're going to click to play the video and the file you're going to link to to play the video on the web. Here's the SWF file that we uh, created. And then the big files, the files containing the videos, are in the sources um, subdirectory. The only reason you need to know that is because when you actually upload the video to your, um, to your web server, and let me link back up to deseo.com. We'll abort and and this is FileZilla. This is a uh, freeware tool. I've got it on pretty much every computer in my office because I, I upload from different computers at different times. And then I created the SarnSim folder here, which is right here. And then I uploaded these four files and the entire sources subfolder up to my website. So here's the um, here are the four files. And then sources here, sources here. So everything's uploaded. So I've got all my files uploaded. And let's take a look at what the presentation will look like on the web. And here it is. 
So it's at www.doseo.com. That's my own website, the Sorensen subfolder. We saw that. And then you link to index.html. So if you're going to link this into another uh, web page, this is the link that you would use. If you want to call it up directly, this is the URL you would use. And then I'm going to 